Here at Drip, we're always coming up with ways to help the e-commerce mavens of the world perfect the customer experience. Good customer experiences are made with meaningful interactions, relevant messaging, and support from first click to checkout. As you know, a great customer experience means new customers, loyal customers, and more money from those customers. And bad experiences full of generic, meaningless gobbledygook? Well, those usually end with customers forgetting you, never returning, and taking their cash to your competitor. We think it's high time there's an easy way to tell which of your customer experiences are good and which might need some help, which is exactly why Drip is changing split testing as you know it. Split testing in Drip can help you refine your good experiences to make them great by testing one customer journey against another right inside your workflows. Let's jump right in and see how Drip does split testing. How about we set up a split test in a card abandonment workflow? If you don't have one of these set up for your store yet, we recommend making one. The truth is that roughly 70% of online shopping carts are left for dead, and a cart abandonment workflow is one of the best ways to retrieve all that lost revenue. So here's our simple cart abandonment workflow. Someone enters this workflow when they add stuff to their cart, but don't check out. After a short time delay, we've been sending people an email, reminding them about the goods they left behind, and linking them directly back to their cart. So far, this workflow has been recovering more revenue than before it was running. But with split testing, we can start testing how to make this cart abandonment experience even more effective. For this test, I want to see if people return to their carts and make a purchase more often, if they also see a relevant Facebook ad and receive a second reminder email nudging them back to their cart. Adding a split test in a workflow is just like adding any other step. Once inside your workflow, click the plus button where you want to add a split test, then choose split test. We'll pause this workflow while we build the test, then start it again when the test is ready to go. Next, let's fill in some details about this split test. We'll name this test Cart Abandonment Test, and while this feature can test up to five different paths, I only want to test three. I now have three blank paths before me, so it's time to get to work. I want my first path to be a control, and I'm going to keep it similar to what we've already been doing in this cart abandonment workflow. All I'm going to do here is send people an email reminding them about their abandoned cart. And for path B, I want to start adding people to a Facebook custom audience. This will help me see if a multi-channel approach has an impact on this audience. I'll add the same email people in path A will receive, and then they'll be added to a Facebook custom audience where they start seeing ads for what they left behind in their cart. And for path C, I want to see how a second reminder email resonates. I'll add the same email from paths A and B, add them to the same custom audience as path B, then wait a few hours before sending them a second email with another friendly reminder and a 10% discount. Now, all three of these paths build on each other and use a lot of the same elements. When making a split test, we recommend changing one or two things per path. When all the paths in a test are radically different, you'll still be able to see which path won, but you'll have no idea which element was responsible for driving more revenue. So my split tests are built and looking good. Let's activate this workflow. While my test is running, all the people who trigger this workflow will be evenly sent down each path automatically. And you can always check in on how things are going, stop the test, or declare a winning path. Look at that, it's now the future. My split test has been running for three weeks and I want to go ahead and declare a winner. I want to choose the winning path based on highest order conversions for abandoned carts. To see which path pulled ahead and declare a winner, I go back into my workflow and click on the split test node. A pop-up appears and tells me all the juicy details about each path, like how many people went through it, order conversions, and revenue per person. Since the number of order conversions is the most important piece of information for me in this test, whichever path had the most will be my winner. In this case, it's path C. I'm going to click declare winner for path C, and once I do, paths A and B will be disabled, and my split test changes from running to complete status. You'll notice the losing paths are grayed out in my workflow after I do this, and if I want, I can remove these paths completely by going back into my split test node and clicking remove losing paths. This gets rid of paths A and B, as well as the split test node, so my workflow doesn't show a trace of a split test ever happening. You'll always be able to see your split test history, though, right inside your workflow dashboards. Inside the dashboard, click the tab titled Split Tests. 
Here you'll be able to see every split test that's been run in this workflow, the data collected from them, as well as an option to view what each test looked like right in the workflow. Thanks to this, you won't have to worry about forgetting what you've done and retesting the same stuff. Instead, you'll always be able to see what worked well, what didn't work, and how you can keep optimizing the customer experience no matter what your goal is. What's more is that if you really do just want to test email subject lines or copy, you can still do that. But the difference with split testing and drip is that you aren't limited to that, not even close. When you can test which journeys are earning more revenue and resonating more with your customers, your opportunity for making every single experience better is limitless. So saddle up and start testing what actually matters to e-commerce with split testing and drip.